Hey, it's um, it's me. Uh, how are things? I hope you've been all right. You, you're still at work right now. I know you've always been the kind of person to work late. <laughs> right, right. I'll, I'll get to the point. Sorry. Oh, it's just, I, kind of need to ask for a little favour. Well, you see, I might have gotten into a bit of a small fight, and well. Yes. Yes. I'm at the police station again. Yes. I know I said it would never happen again. I just... Look. Look. I just need you to come bail me out again. Please. Yeah. I know we're not married anymore, but come on. Have a heart. If I don't get bailed out by tonight, they'll keep me here all weekend. Please help a guy out for, for old time's sake. Oh, thank God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, all right. I'll see you later tonight then. Oh, that feels better. Ah. Oh. Being in that small cell was bad enough, but they also didn't take the cuffs off until you got there. Still, thanks for coming to get me. I really appreciate it. Especially since you came right from work. Maybe I could buy you dinner or something as thanks for... Oh, you just want to go home. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that makes sense. Wait, wait, hold on. Uh, well, you see, I kind of got taken to the station right from the bar near my house, so don't exactly have my car, and uh, I don't really know where the nearest bus stop is from here. So what I was wondering is, would you be okay showing me to the nearest one? I, I swear, after that, I'll... I'll be out of your hair. <sighs> Thanks. Well, by all means, lead the way. <clears throat> um, thanks again for, you know, bailing me out. I promise it won't happen again, hopefully. Ha. <laughs> Right, right, I can just not call you if it happens again. Anyways, how have you been? It's been, what, two months since we've last seen each other? Five months? Seriously? <laughs> wow. I, uh, I guess time just got away from me since you left. You know, I finally got that promotion at work. Yeah, someone had to quit for me to get it, but I got it. And and hey, I, I actually saved up enough to get the car fixed up. Still rattles and shakes every now and again, but gets me where I need to go. Maybe you can come and see it and... I'm sorry? S stop it. Stop what? Stop acting like everything's normal. What do you mean? Y yeah, I, I know we're divorced, but I, I thought it was on good terms, you know, as, as good as a divorce can be. But I haven't changed. What, what are you talking about? It, I'm still irresponsible. Well, oh, come on. No, I'm not. Okay, yeah, I'll... I'll admit, 
I did some stupid things when we were together, but I've gotten better. I mean, did you hear when I told you I finally got the car fixed? And I haven't said how I finally got that promotion. Well, yeah, it took longer than it should have to get the car fixed. And yeah, I didn't actively try to get the promotion even after you left, but still, I... Hey, what happened tonight is different. Look, I know getting arrested isn't a good thing. But this time, I had my reasons for getting into that fight. I just did, okay? Because it was about you. The reason I got into that fight tonight was because it was over you, okay? So back at the bar, there was some guy who started talking about you. I think he was a guy who I used to work with before we divorced. Well, I was talking about the divorce after having a few drinks and he suddenly started going on and on about how it's too bad such a pretty face has such a bad attitude. And I, I just lost it. Well, the guy probably only met you once. He didn't know the first thing about you. And even if he did, he had no right to talk about you that way. I mean, I know we're not together anymore. But that doesn't mean people can just talk about you like that. Especially since... Since it was my fault things ended badly in the first place. What I'm saying is you're right. I'm trying to be better, but I'm still as irresponsible as when we first started dating. I know at first that's what let us have so much fun, but... I should have known better that things couldn't just stay that way. I... I should have tried to be more responsible, more mature. I at least shouldn't have been so reckless with money and getting into so much trouble. I mean, it was one thing when I got detention for some stupid prank back in school, but I can't get going through life bouncing in and out of police stations because I can't get my act together. There's no way for a guy to live, especially if he's supposed to have stuff like a wife and a family. Look, what I'm saying is... I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't be the guy you needed me to be, and I'm sorry I still haven't got my act together yet. But when I do, well... Could we at least... Stay friends and... Don't worry, I'm not asking for another chance at marriage or anything. I mean... Don't get me wrong, I, I do still care about you and a part of me always will. But I just... Don't want to lose you again. I don't want to lose my best friend. Yes, you have my word. No more fights. Right, right. No more sudden calls from the police station either. And I'll even pay you back the bail money too. So, are we... Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I promise I'll definitely start cleaning up my act. <laughs> I can start by buying you dinner. So you were hungry after all. Glad to know some things haven't changed. <laughs> no, no complaints here. By all means, lead the way. <laughs>